Your Worship, esteemed counselors, members of the viewing public, good afternoon. My thanks to the City of St. John's for its ongoing recognition of the arts and of poetry in particular. It is an honor to be marking World Poetry Day with you all today. Poetry has many facets, two of which I'd like to foreground here. Poetry as a powerful medium of feeling, what the British poet Wendy Cope has described as anecdotal evidence of the human heart. And poetry as a celebration of language itself, of the play of image and sound. I've chosen to read two brief poems reflecting these dimensions of poetry. The first, not my own, but a classic poem that I have always found deeply moving, a poem of hope in dark time, is Gerard Manley Hopkins' sonnet, God's Grandeur. In the octave, the first eight lines of the sonnet, Hopkins expresses a sense of the earth as being beleaguered, even as toxic with its divine energies being drained. This sense of catastrophe in the octave is countered in the final six lines, the sestet. The poem is essentially one of affirmation, an assertion that there lives the dearest freshness deep down things. God's grandeur. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod, and all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil. And wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, O oh, morning at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with awe bright wings. Now for a rather humbler piece of my own. Kitchen Lessons appeared in the kitchen issue of Newfoundland Quarterly in the fall of 2020. It's a collage, a kind of word quilt, the panels of which are Newfoundland proverbs involving food and cooking. The poem is structured in couplets. The proverbs illustrate the vigor and earthiness, the wordplay of much Newfoundland speech, its fondness for metaphor. These proverbs are never only about food. They reflect both playfulness and wisdom. And assembled in these couplets create, I hope, a wild, surreal energy. Kitchen lessons. Too many cooks spoil the broth. There's no use crying over spilt milk. A watched pot never boils. An apple a day will keep the doctor away. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Better half a loaf than no bread. Fine words butter no parsnips. And every apple has its worm. Don't boil your cabbage twice. You can't get blood from a turnip. Garlic is as good as 10 mothers, and you'll catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. 
Hunger is a fine sauce. One man's meat is another man's poison. Enough is as good as a feast. And if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Thank you for listening. You can find God's grandeur online. And in April, you can hear more poets at city council meetings.